having a temperate rainforest encompassed within our state is a unique gem and we need your help to protect it. The Tillamook and Clatsop State Forests are the largest piece of public land between the Portland metro area and the Pacific Ocean. It's in the backyard of the majority of Oregonians. Some of the healthiest remaining runs of wild salmon and steelhead still exist here. These trees, you know, they don't just produce abundant wild salmon, but they produce clean water. Cities like Hillsboro and Beaverton, as well as coastal communities, rely on these watersheds within our state forests for clean drinking water. Nick, why don't you go out 50 on yours? I'm a professional fishing guide of 17 years. I've been fishing the Tillamook region for over 30 years. This is why Oregonians live in Oregon, is to have the access and the opportunity to recreate outside. State agencies found that activities such as fishing, hunting, hiking, and wildlife viewing poured over $100 million into the region. Part of the important value that comes off the Tillamook and Clatsop is the timber harvest, which is a significant part of the Oregon economy too. But these forests are still recovering. The Tillamook fires and the logging that followed did a lot of damage 70 years ago. There's increasing pressure to log these forests the same way that some of the private companies do around here. And that's not the approach that we need on our publicly owned forests. We've got to keep a balance that protects non-timber economic values and includes a sustainable logging enterprise. And the way to do that is by establishing areas for long-term forest conservation to protect our fish, water, and our special recreation areas to support a balanced and diversified economy. So get out and explore these forests. Find out what they mean to you. We can't protect them without your voice.